the Ulambana Sutra, the Yulan Bol Sutra, also known as the Yulan Pan Sutra, translated into Chinese in the Western Jin Dynasty by the Tripitaka master Dharmaraksa from Yuanzhu, translated from Chinese into English by Venerable Ifa and Peter Matthew Romaneskowitz. The unsurpassed, profound, and wonderful Dharma is difficult to encounter in hundreds of millions of eons. I now see and hear it, receive and uphold it, and I vow to fathom the Tathagata's true meaning. Thus have I heard. Once the Buddha was in the kingdom of Shravasti in Jetavana, Anathapindaka's park, the great Malgayayana had just obtained the six numinous powers, and, desiring to liberate his parents in repayment for their kindness in nursing and feeding him, he used his eye of enlightenment to observe the worlds. He saw that his deceased mother was reborn among the hungry ghosts, and, never seeing drink or food, her skin clung to her bones. Malgagayana was grieved and filled his bowl with rice to go feed his mother. When his mother obtained the bowl of rice, her left hand shielded it as her right hand scooped up the rice. The food had not yet entered her mouth before it transformed into fiery coals. Thus she could not have the food. Malgagayana, in a great howl of grief, wailed and wept. He hurriedly returned to address the Buddha, reporting to him these events in full. The Buddha said, The roots of your mother's offenses are so deep and knotted that it is beyond your power as a single person to do anything. Although the echoes of your filial obedience have shaken the heavens and earth, the heavenly spirits, earthly spirits, evil demons, heterodox practitioners, Taoist masters, and the four heavenly king deities are not able to do anything. You must have the strength of the numinous powers of the monastic assembly from the ten directions to obtain her liberation. I will now, on your behalf, teach the means for her rescue, so as to allow all her troubles to be completely alleviated and to eliminate her grief, suffering, and offensive hindrances. The Buddha told Malgayayana, on the fifteenth day of the seventh lunar month, when the monastic assembly from the ten directions released themselves in confession, you should, for the sake of seven generations of parents, as well as your current parents, and those under duress and difficulty, gather food of a hundred flavors, five kinds of fruit, pots for drawing and pouring water, incense oil, lamps, candles, bedding, mattresses, all that is sweet and beautiful in the entire world and place them in a bowl to make offerings to the ten directions of the vastly virtuous monastic assembly. On this day, all of the sagely assembly, whether those meditating in the mountains, or who have attained the fruits on the fourfold path, or who are walking in meditation under the trees, or those freed by the six numinous powers, or those who edify others, or Shravakas or Pratyekabuddhas, or those great beings, the Bodhisattvas of the tenth Bhumi, who provisionally manifest as bhikshus, all of those among the great assembly will, together with a single mind, receive the patra of rice. Those who are replete with the pure precepts and the way of the sagely assembly all have virtue as vast as the ocean. If there are offerings made like this, when the Sangha release themselves in confession, then your current parents, parents of seven generations, and six kinds of relatives will all obtain release from the sufferings of the three Myers, and they should be, at that time, liberated, clothed, and fed spontaneously. If, furthermore, there are parents of a person who are living, they will have a hundred years of fortune and joy. If they are already deceased, then parents of seven generations will be reborn in the heavens. They will be freely reborn through transformation, 
entering into the light of heavenly flowers and receiving immeasurable joy. Then the Buddha directed the monastic assembly from the ten directions to all first recite mantras and make vows on behalf of the donor's family and seven generations of parents, and practice meditation by settling their thoughts. Only afterwards may they receive the food. In the beginning, when they receive the bowls, they should first place them in front of a Buddha pagoda, and when the monastic assembly has finished reciting the mantras and making vows, may they then receive the food. At that time, Bhikshu Malgayayana and this vast assembly of great bodhisattvas all greatly rejoiced. The sounds of Malgayayana's grieved weeping dissipated and dispelled. Then, on that day, Malgayayana's mother was liberated from a kalpa of suffering as a hungry ghost. At that time, Malgayayana further addressed the Buddha, saying, the parents who gave birth to me, your disciple, are able to receive the meritorious power of the three jewels because of the strength of the numinous powers of the monastic assembly. In future ages, may all of the Buddhist disciples who practice filial obedience offer these Yulan bowls to rescue their current parents as well as their parents from seven generations, or may they not? The Buddha replied, A greatly pleasing question. I was just going to speak about what you now inquired. My good son, if there are bhikshus, bhikshunis, kings of countries, princes, sons of kings, great ministers, chancellors, nobility of the three grades, officials in the hundreds, citizens by the thousands, or any commoners who practice filial compassion, then, for the sake of their current parents and their parents of the past seven generations, on the fifteenth day of the seventh lunar month, the day on which Buddhas rejoiced, and the Sangha released themselves in confession. They should all place the drinks and food of a hundred flavors into Yulan bowls and offer them to the Sangha of the ten directions who have released themselves in confession. The pleas and vows will cause the lifespan of their current parents to be a hundred years without sickness and without any misfortune of suffering or distress. Even the parents of seven generations will be freed from the suffering of being hungry ghosts and will be able to be reborn among heavenly beings of limitless fortune and joy. The Buddha told all of the virtuous men and women, these disciples of the Buddha, who cultivate filial obedience, should, with every moment, constantly think of their parents and make offerings for them, as well as their parents, from seven generations. Every year, on the fifteenth day of the seventh lunar month, out of filial obedience and compassionate regard for the parents that gave birth to them and for the parents of seven generations, they should always make Yulan bowls and offer them to the Buddha and Sangha in order to repay the kindness of those parents who have reared, nourished, and cared for them. All of the disciples of the Buddha should uphold this Dharma. At that time, Bhikshu Malgayayana and the four classes of disciples, upon hearing what the Buddha had said, rejoiced in, honored, and practiced it. <laughs>